What is poppin' fellow TCG enjoyers? It's your boy Yazzie TCG and we're back for another Pokemon TCG video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing one of the most, I feel, deadass, just ignorant decks in the format. We got ah, the Roaring Moon himself. He just yells at his opponent. Roaring Moon is one of the new boss cards released in Paradox Rift. Uh, Frenzied Gouging for two darkness, one colorless. Kill. Literally kill, and then afterwards, he deals himself 200 damage. But literally, it is quite literally... <laughs> it's just quite literally just get rid of anything. Get rid of anything we're playing for. Uh, if you do, if you're interested in playing this deck, I'm going to say, this is one of the decks that they're giving out for free in the Battle Pass. So if you want to play this deck, least log in. Just literally log in. Even if you're not interested in playing now, log in, collect this deck, lock it away this deck just came out so at least if you're watching this video within the time frame this video is good this deck is great great to invest in for rotation know that we're playing four copies we're playing two of the black star promo because because i just god i just i love this art by the way I, I bought the i bought the box came with two code cards to the pokemon employee that uh that made that box love you love you so much they're also giving this art away for free in the in the pass. Uh, this I pulled. This is another gorgeous card. Other than that, we have our uh, we have our. This is kind of our main attacker, just because I mean oh, I didn't even go over its second attack. Calamity Storm again for for two colorless, not two colorless, two dark, one colorless, 100 base damage. If the stadium in play, discard it. it does 220. It's just a beast because for decks like not every deck you're gonna want to just go in deal 200 damage to yourself and just kill. There's some. There's some stage one decks or, you know, there's some couple Pokemon where you don't even need to discard the stadium. 100 is just enough. I think it's a really overall solid attacker. It being dark is one of the better, is one of the best things with the card we're going to be talking about later in the trainers. Not to mention it has the ancient key tag. It has access to, I think, one of the most broken supporter cards I think I've, like, ever seen. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's, it's good. It's not just that good. It's not that good. For the, for the support slash backup attackers, we have, we're running 1-1, one, one, Darkrai and Darkrai V Star. Uh, Star Abyss is cracked. Star Abyss is just absolutely cracked. Just get back two item cards. It is cracked. And then Dark Pulse is 30 damage for every dark energy you have in play. This deck does a lot of energy acceleration, so this can quickly snowball. Also, not going to mention that this art is beautiful is this the secret i want to say this yeah this is the secret by the way you get you get this as well in the battle pass you get this as well in the battle pass so again if any of the cards at least in this deck interest you most are given away in the battle pass they also give you a bunch of crafting mats so just, just hop on uh for our other main attacker we have glarian moltres with malevolent charge when you play this card when you place pokemon from hand onto your bench Attach two darkness energy, one more, and then fiery wrath. Attack those 50 more damage for each prize card your opponent's taken. It's a little mini Charizard for not as much of the investment, and you don't even need that. You don't even, um, you don't even need that much. That's our attackers. That's our attack. I know some people run the uh, Brew Bonnet build. I don't like it. I personally, I just don't like it. Like the extra HP, like is low key out is low key kind of irrelevant sometimes. Like it's irrelevant most of the time. And if you want a if you want an item to give your Roaring Moon a couple more HP, there's another card I'm gonna show off in the trainer section because I want to talk about it because I've seen some people play it, but you know, it's I, I you know I'm just playing I'm just playing to yell at my opponent. Okay, I'm just that's what I'm doing. We got more Peko here, kind of just here just for its in a hurry ability. If this Pokemon has no energy attack, has no retreat cost, and then if there's if there's ever a future where we have, just have to attack its only attacker. It does 70 and then and then get to move move to energy back. It's energy back. Radiant Ninja. I don't have to explain Radiant Greninja. Draw two. We're not running water energy in this deck, though you could. You absolutely could run two. You could run two water energy, but I just having all dark energy just makes sense. Running 1-1 one, one, Bibberol. 1-1 one, one, Bibberol and Bidoof. Just draw five. All you need to know. We have Squawk and Squeeze. First turn, discard your discard the cards you have. Draw six. This deck doesn't really worry about cards in the draw, especially item cards, because Dark Pride V-Star can get them back. And I'm pretty sure we're running we're running a couple of cards to get our Pokemon back, but that's all the Pokemon. Twelve Pokemon, kind of a little bit more than you normally normally would see. Either no, I think twelve is pretty much standard. 
I'm going to go by supporters because we're not running that many. We can get them out. The one boss's orders, I mean, it's boss's orders. It's boss's orders. The one Iono, just to fuck up. A lot of people are still running Bibrol, so this card just kind of ends up either being the best or the worst. And the supporter that we want to play the most, Professor Sada's Vitality. Two of your ancient Pokemon on the bench. Attach a basic energy from the discard pile to each of them. And then draw three cards. It is cracked. Uh, it sets up multiple Roaring Moons. You also get this art in the battle. I'm going to mention you get this art in the battle pass. It's great. And then we're running a one Avery because uh, sometimes you want to get shit off our opponent's bench. That's it. We're, we're running a pretty pretty low supporter package because you kind of just want to... You want to you wanna be just activating this most of the time. Plus, there's a, there's a stadium in this deck that... We'll get into that's why our supporter counts a little bit low. We got, I mean, we'll have six planet. Why not? Pokestop from Pokemon Go. At first, I thought this card was ass. The more I played with it, I'm like, this card is high key broken as fuck. Like, God. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard the top three cards of their deck. If a player discarded any item cards away, put those items into their hand. It is cracked. We are playing Fork, and not only does it help us get to shit like. It helps us get to our Earthen Vessels, our Cross Switches, our Ultra Bowls, our VIP Pass, our Trekking Shoes. It gets to every one of our items, and if we discard energy, that's so good. We need, we need, there's not a lot of good ways to get energy in the, in the drop, but it being in the drop is damn near better than being in our fucking hand with the rest of the, with the, with the rest of the cards in the deck. We got Dark Patch for Energy Acceleration. Just attach a Darkness Energy from Discord Pod to one of your benched Dark Pokemon. I gotta remember, it's Dark, not anything else. I sometimes fuck that up. I also sometimes forget that this card only attaches to Bench. Earthen Vessel, a new card from Ape um, Paradox Rift as well. Discard a card, search two basic energy cards, add them to your hand, shuffle the deck. Other than that, I mean, we're running the staples. We have Battle VIP Pass. You need to. This card's cracked. Ultra Ball, it's the best card in the game. Imagine the best card in your game being a Neg 3. Escape Rope, Switch cross switcher just to switch around just to switch around cross switcher being so good trekking shoes underrated card i'm gonna say i'm gonna say trekking shoes look at top card look at top card of your deck and put that card in your hand if you don't discard it and draw a card sometimes sometimes either just like it just depends you get to choose like you get to see what card you can add and if it's not something you need get rid of it draw another card heart of the cards your way into it ladies and gentlemen heart of the cards your way into it the one super rod to send back our Energy and Pokemon, mostly Roaring Moons. Mostly Roaring Moons. We have Poke Gear to find our Professor Sada's Vitality and our other supporters. That's why we like we do it. And then Palpad to send them back because we are running a little bit low of other supporters, and supporters are pretty strong. But I mean, once you have multiple, once you have like one or two Roaring Moons set up, I mean, the game's just a hop and a skip away from being over. And we're just playing ten. We're playing nine dark energy, and then the one jet energy. To so sometimes you'll be in a spot where you don't have a switch card, and the Pokemon in your active is gonna be like Galarian Moltres, which has a two retreat cost, or just a Bibrel, something like that. Something that like you can't retreat out easily. Jet energy is gonna come in clutch. Now for the trainer card that I wanted to mention, if I could type. Oh, do I not? Come on. There we go. Emergency Jelly. I recently learned about this tool a little bit ago. At the end of each turn, if Pokemon this card has, if Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less, convenient because that's how much it has. It has any damage counters on it. Heal 120 damage from it. If you heal any damage, discard this card. So you go instead of being 30, you go back to 150. I think that's just slightly a little better because like the added benefit of removing or being immune to status conditions i just don't like it's it's just whatever it's just like low-key like whatever <laughs> you could run it and if you can like i i just i don't see the merit in running brute bonnet like i don't think i don't think brute bonnet's attack is just sim like toxic powder i don't think is enough to justify me running this card i just i don't it's good for like the one cloth deck like that one other deck running around but that's the deck. I'm not. I, I'm saying this. There's, there's many different ways you could do with it. I'm pretty sure there's like cards I'm forgetting. Dark is honestly one of those where like, you could run Roaring Moon and then, 
you can kind of have whatever as a backup attacker. I'm using Darkrai because Star Abyss is just cracked. But let's, let's, but let's get into some games. Remember to subscribe, like, you know, all that jazz. We're gonna, okay, normally for decks, I like to at least try going first. We are not doing that this deck. If we can pull off Professor Sada's Vitality to full effect going second, it's just so good. Ooh, that is what I like to see. We just need a way. We just need a way to accelerate. We just need a way to put this to like put this dark energy in the drop. Ah, I mentioned it. I probably maybe should have put the Bibrel. I probably should have put the Bibrel so I could have retreated and put the dark energy in the in the thing. I mean, our opponent could literally be playing anything. <laughs> Okay, I'm literally playing anything. I mean, I'm gonna, am I gonna say champ powder to the water sleeves? Well, we'll see here, because my opponent is just, my opponent's them. My opponent is just simply them. Hmm. I mean, come on, dude. It's, it's PIP pass. This isn't this isn't a hard choice. Just put Chien Pao and a brat and a Bax Balber. Just come on. Just come on. I mean it's it's a little disappointing to hear that the next set that I mean I I think the next set we're getting Um is kinda a reprint set. I don't think there's anything new in it. Wow. Double P pass and you were fucking you I mean I guess they're I they could be looking at their deck. I mean, yeah, it pretty much gets him everything, like what, Manaphy and then Manaphy Ninja or another, another, oh, Ninja Mew. This is something I feel like I have, I should start teching into my decks. This is something I feel like I should maybe start teching into my decks. Here we go, he's gonna retreat, Shan Pao, like, bruh, we, we, you know what? I was talking with a homie of mine about uh, trying out not Chien Pao Iron Valiant, but but Palkia Iron Valiant. Yeah. Which I don't know. I think about it. I mean, trying to snipe shit off the bench wouldn't that make Palkia weaker? Well, I mean, we actually don't have to snipe shit off the bench. You could you could hypothetically you could hypothetically put that on the active Pokemon. I need like an old oh. Um, I'll take the one boss's order that's in my deck. See, here's the problem. We don't have a way. We can, but we'd have to waste our one switch, but at this point, I feel like we're going to need it. I feel like we're going to need to do this because if not, I, I'm going to lose. I don't mind giving up the more Peko. Hmm. Hmm. Pass turn. See, sometimes I I don't know. I mean, I run four B battle, four P pass, three earthen vessels, four ultra balls. I mean, yep. Rare candy, rare candy backs, rare candy backs. I'm gonna keep it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I know where this match is going. I think I know where this match is going. And I don't think it's a good one. I think we're gonna get our booty cheeks hell bladed. Oh, a rare candy on Bax Balber. Aren't you just daring today? What, he searches here for Manaphy? Like, what else? Like, well, or another Chien Pao. I guess I could sort Palkia too. If he's running the Palkia build. He's running the Palkia, but look, I love water types, but man, Iridia is just a, another Chimp Pao. And we have another Roaring Moon. I mean, we're fine right now. We're fine. We are, we are fine. Because he pretty much, he pretty much used, he can't boss his orders me anymore. Can't boss. Can't counter catcher. If he escape ropes. Then I just, I give him the Bidoof. I give him the Bidoof. 
that ninja is a problem because we don't have any form of bench protection. We don't have any form, so if he kind of figures that out and gets a double kill here, we are actually kind of fucked. Wait, stop. He needs five energy unless he has a switch card to do it. Mm. One, two. Okay, he's only attack. No, he's there's no shot. There is no fucking wet. Oh, okay. I mean, no, yeah, this is smart. This is smart. Get some two more water energy. Get some two more water. Nah, that was a good one. For a second there, I'm like, what is he doing? Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? The Pokemon abilities are, like, not hard ones per turn, but hard ones for, like, just copy. I have seven Pidgeots. I'm gonna just search my deck. <laughs> I have five Pidgeots. I'm just gonna search for five copies of Exodus. Oh, four. He has exactly four. Getting rid of the Palkia V? Well, I mean, yeah, if Palkia V is in the prize, it doesn't really matter. But he set up the other one. E. I mean, it depends how he plays this out. Good thing about this Morpeko is that he actually needs two energy to kill me. As opposed to the Bidoof. So, good on me. I still give him the Bidoof. I can't afford to give him... I can't afford to give him that. I can't afford to give him that. I can't afford to give him that. Uh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Not looking good. See, I, I, you know, I could... We could put, like... A mana fee or something here, but that wouldn't help us this fucking game. That wouldn't help us this fucking game. I mean... Damn. My opponent is better than me. That's what I... That's just... My opponent is better than me. My opponent is just simply better than me, you know? Actually, if he's based, he would... Oh my god, he actually... He would be based? Based opponent alert? That's where I draw a bib roll and then we just... Okay, well... I mean, what I mean, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do when you open a hand of nothing? Hand of nothing and draw nothing. And your opponent just opens the fucking nuts. Yeah, I can't do anything. I don't know, dude, it's been like it's been like 15 seconds. Give me you know what? Whatever. You know, we're just we're 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 gonna concede this match. I don't I don't I don't I just don't see us winning it. I'm gonna keep it. I don't see us winning. They have they have set up a little too fast for us. It's sort of a little too fast for us, but you know what? We will we will get them. We'll get them next. Time. We'll get them. All right. Let's fucking let, let's hope that this one we don't fucking we don't fucking like I like that is one of the things. I'm tired of like running. Like like I'm running four ultra four fucking P pass four earthen vessel four like I'm I'm running. I'm running everything I fucking can besides just every card in my trainer slot searching me a card. <laughs> like, what? Like, bro, we saw no pokey stops, no tra- no nut, like... Ooh. Well, no, I can't complain this much. We we got the P-Pass. We got the P-Pass, I think we go first. We do. Okay. And we drew Moon. Okay, so we're... Mm. We're not gonna discard this hand. This hand has too many good cards. Uh, I need like I need Earthen Vessel here. It'd be sick. Mm. You know, 
maybe I am just bad at this game. I mean, yeah, maybe. Okay, that's one Zard I don't gotta deal with. Oh, what? Do double Bibberal? Oh. Oh, well, you know what? Glid thing I didn't stack the bench. Playing Avery for the supporter is kind of cringe. Okay, my opponent doesn't seem to be... My opponent doesn't seem to be in a good, a good, a good spot. Alright, thank you, Squawk and... Fucking... Squawk and suck my dick. Please give me something here. Oh, my lord. Uh... uh. Decks in a little bit, okay. Well, I mean, we have the vitality here and just pray that we draw into. Okay, still nothing. Wait, nope. No, no, no. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ninja's gonna draw us into two more fucking. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. I mean, we can ditch one of these and then the pal pad and search. Dark Cry V Star and do nothing with it. Dark Cry V Star and do nothing. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, still doesn't do anything. Um, huh. I mean, let's just dark patch up the Roaring Moon. Let's just build it up, I guess. I don't think they're running more than one Avery, so let's just slap that down. Um, just fucking Christ Almighty. Like, where are my Earthen Vessels? You know what, dude? I'm fucking... I'm just checking the deck, dude. Where the fuck are my Earthen Vessels? Are they in my deck? Are they fucking in my deck? Is every Earthen Vessel in the fucking... All three are there. Like, what the, what the fuck, dude? I'm tired. Just add this... So we can fucking. Okay, it's still. It's. I don't know, actually. I do not know. Oh, wow, they are hard evolving. Huh. They are just hard going for it. Not steady fire breathing. Professor's research, see this hand. This hand was dog shit. God damn. They're in the cool. Ooh, they're using the cool. They're using cool old arts. See, if I had the if I had the crafting material, I would be doing stuff like this. I'd be doing stuff like that. I'd be getting the like really fancy arts, the old arts that I like, but you know. Oh my, uh, Pokestop giveth and Pokestop taketh away. Knowing my opponent, they did that last card is rare candy, or they're just gonna bib roll a rare candy out of their ass. Mew! Ooh, draw three and then draw four and then draw two more. I mean, it's the same amount of cards. Unless they play a card here. Nope, it is very much, they drew the same number of cards. Evolution. I mean, that seems like a seems like a waste, honestly. It seems like a waste to me. What the fuck? Does that only work on like basics? Yeah. Why? What? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Can I please draw usable cards? Please, wrestle. Where is thank you? Oh my god, fuck boss's orders. We don't give a shit about boss's fucking orders. Oh my lord. Thank you, energy. I feel fucking revitalized. I feel fucking just mag fucking nificent. God bloody hell. Trek finally. Okay, there we go. Trekking shoes. No, we don't need that. We need we need vitality. 
I don't know. I mean, if like, technically, I mean. Um, yeah, well, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna start abyss. We're gonna cock abyss right here. Yeah! Cocular abyss. Uh, do this, and then I'll do this. We still have a P pass in my hand. Ah, oh, dude, I'm better! Ooh. My junk is kind of hard. Iron. Discard this. Two more. Two more energy. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, uh. Three cards, baby. Yeah! Another Vitality. We have all four cross switchers. Goddamn. We can still attach an energy. That's funny. I actually I have to okay, we're gonna cross switcher. We're gonna cross switcher the game. Uh game. Oh, okay. We're gonna get the Do I get the Mew? I'm gonna get the Mew because we can I'm gonna get the Mew actually, instead of getting the Zard. We're gonna attach energy here. And then we got a dark pet. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, finally. We're gonna ditch the stadium because we don't want him using it. We don't want, oh, there we go. Fucking give me some prizes. Fucking miracles, oh my God. That unbreaking in Pokemon is like an orgasmic feeling. Like, I swear to God. Like, what the fuck? Did they mill the one Zard that they had in the restaurant prize or something? Like, this evolution should have gotten him a fucking Zard. Should have got him, like, bare minimum a Zard. That would have been... Not, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this has to search for a candy something, right? Ultra Ball. Wait, dude, what is... Bro, my opponent is tripping some sort of balls. My opponent is playing Deep Draw Charizard without the Charizard. <laughs> Fine, oh, but he's he's just hard evolving. He's I've not seen a singular rare candy at all. Like, are they all prized? Are they all fucking prized? That would be hilarious. You don't kill me off that. Dude. Yeah, you do. Fuck. You exactly kill me. You jerk. Oh, he's out of energy. That's funny. That just kills me. That just kills me. What an ass. It's okay, because we're going to yell. We're finally just going to yell at our opponent. Um, Let's see. Yes. Put that in my hand. Uh, we'll dish one of this one of you. Get our final Roaring Moon. Uh, just do this. Draw three. I mean, it's whatever. We don't even. We don't even need these draws. We do not even need these draws. There we go. We have a roaring. We have a roaring boon. We have a boring boon. Stocked up, ready to roll. And now we yell. Just go ah. We did this art right here. We just ah! I'm trying not to. Okay, I like. I want to yell, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin my. I don't want to fuck up my throat right now. Pause. Ah, uh, we drew another roaring moon. I mean, not that we. I'm not that we're. I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna be able to set this one up, but. Like, did my opponent just have rare candies in their fucking prize the entire time? I own a holy f well. Oh my god. That damn, we still drew good. Lost Pecum. I mean, if it isn't a, 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 the first rare candy I've seen all game. I mean, if that's not energy, you ain't doing shit, buddy boy. If that's not energy, you ain't doing shit, buddy boy. Come on, show me the energy. Lumineon. Uh, have they played a supporter? 
Oh, they did. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm stupid. He has the stupid draw five. Bleh. Counter catcher? You dickhead. Oh, that's a problem. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, thank God. No, we actually would have been a problem. We would have had to go into sudden death. We would have had to go into sudden fucking death. I mean, I don't... Okay. 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 So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put... By the way, yeah. We, 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 are, we, are, we are on the cusp of... We are struggling to stay in Houndoom League. That was the deck. Um, could it be better? Absolutely. I know some people are a little on the fence about Squawkabilly because if you draw it any any turn that isn't turn one, literally does nothing. Literally nothing. You're never gonna wanna put him in, especially in I in when Iron Hand's running away. Especially when I running away. Running around. Like not to mention they literally just dropped They literally just dropped this like this EX deck and a lot of people are using it. A lot of people, well, I mean, a lot of people are already using it, but it's going around even infinitely more now. This deck, I mean, it just looks at Squawkabilly and being like, thank you for three prize cards. Thank you for free prize cards. You could cut this for Manaphy, Jirachi, whichever one of the support Pokemon you want to. I feel everything else is pretty standard. I mean, this, this can really be any dark type attacker you really want. I just choose Starbus, being Prag Starbus, just getting Cross Switchers, Dark Patches trekking shoes like it's just it's for me it's too good for me it is too good the trainers again you could like i mean i feel like this is the perfect lineup though i feel like everything and like it like all, all you gotta do is just see the right combination of them and then it just flows so smoothly like once once this deck starts flapping its wings and starts yelling it is so good it is just it, it is currently i think my favorite deck of paradox rift i think it is just too good it feels too smooth when it works. I mean, but that's that's like every deck, okay? It's like every deck when it's working, it's good. Mm. Anyway, like I said, if you want to try this deck out, they are giving it away in the Battle Pass. Just log in. Cohen, make an account, log in, lock it in. And if you're also interested in Goldengo, have a video on Goldengo EX, which you also get if you get the premium side of the Battle Pass, which again, you can get for free just by playing the game. So I'm not sponsored. I mean, unless, unless, I mean, Less Pokemon Company, if you want to sponsor me, I mean, <laughs> you can sponsor me. Anyway, it's been Yazzie TCG, and we're signing out.